So how many people are coming to Music Under the Stars for the first time this season? Raise your hand. How many people have been at some of the other shows already? Raise your hand. All right, good, good. Well, Thomas Hall National Memorial is about a lot of things. It represents a lot of things. We represent a place where people can come and enjoy music like this on a beautiful summer night. We also represent something that means a little bit more than that, is a little bit deeper, and that is an enduring friendship between the United States and Mexico. So the way things happened here, the reason that Chamis Hall National Memorial is here is a long, long time ago, 150 some years ago, 160 some years ago, there was a treaty between the United States and Mexico, the, the uh, Guadalupe Hidalgo Treaty, and it set the Rio Grande as the border between our two great countries, between the countries of the United States and Mexico. But in 1864, the river started moving all over the place, it started shifting around, and in 1864, there was a huge flood, and the river went south. When the river went south, Mexico lost land and the United States gained land that it probably shouldn't have gained. As years went on, the Mexican government complained to the United States government. The United States government said, oh, we'll take care of it later. In 1911, we had a, a big meeting between Canada, the United States, and Mexico, and Canada and Mexico decided that Mexico should have that land. But it took 50 more years until 1963 when President Lyndon Johnson decided, or President, excuse me, President John F. Kennedy decided that it was time to settle the Chumisol question. And later that year, Lyndon Johnson and the President of Mexico, President Lopez de Mateos, got together and they finally solved the problem and Mexico finally got her land back. After all, 115 years of trying, Mexico finally got her land back. Now, the reason we're here is that this park was created to memorialize that. That's why we're called a memorial instead of a national park, although we do belong to the National Park Service. Now, people come here from all over the world. They come here from Spain. They come here from Mexico. They come here from South America, all over the United States and Canada. They come from Europe, and they even come to Asia, from Asia to learn about the history that happened right here in El Paso and Juarez. I'd like to invite everybody to come back to the Chamisol again, to not just come here for great events like this, like Music Under the Stars, but to come back and visit us in the Visitor Center and learn more about your national park. Now, on a personal note, this is my last Music Under the Stars. I'm moving, I know, I know. I'm moving to Yellowstone National Park in just a few days. Yeah. But El Paso, I want to thank you for being, and I've lived all over the world. I've lived in Europe, I've lived in Hawaii, I've lived in Alaska. This is the friendliest place that I've ever been. And wherever I go and wherever I, my family goes, El Paso will always be in our heart. Thank you very much.